I met this guitar player named Danny Gatton. And uh, he kind of was the first guy to really take me under his wing. I was about 11. And Danny had this really cool thing about him where he would, um, you know, he had this real nonchalance about him. He was a very unassuming guy. He was like my guitar teacher, you know? So he listened to me play. He goes like, son, you know something about the blues, but you don't know anything about jazz. You don't know anything about early rock and roll. Like, you know, I'm talking about like Gene Vincent and the Blue Caps and, you know, the Big Bopper and Elvis Presley and stuff like that. So I'd sit in his Winnebago, you know, on the nights that I would sit in with him. And, uh, about to come back. and it was like, he would show me this stuff that would go. So like, it'd be like the riff of the week club, you know, I'd see him on the weekends in DC and stuff like that. So he's like, how about, how about this kid? And he goes. my cassette tape and I'm like wicked. I go home and I practice and practice and practice. I got the riff. Come back the next week, he goes, You know, I was like at that point in time, I was probably the most balanced kid in show business because I had chips on both shoulders. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, he goes, ah. Literally, nine shows in 11 days I wore my nails off, so I'm a little sloppy today. But I don't charge for the mistakes. Um, so I was like, uh, I'm going to do that. I worked and 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 worked. And I... sit in with him at the place he was playing. And that was like my, he was like my guitar teacher. But he was just my friend Danny. And you never really, you know, you don't realize how lucky I was. I didn't realize how lucky I was until ultimately, you know, he was, you know, he was dead and gone. And, and I miss him a lot because, you know, there have been several people in my life that have been really super influential. I mean, one guy, you know, um, Danny Gavin I just mentioned, um, another guy's name Tom Dow. And uh, Tom, for those who don't know him, he was the, the, one of the founding members of Atlantic Records, produced everything from Otis Redding Blue to every Allman Brothers record to Disraeli Gears and all that. Layla. 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 Now you can feel it.